the heart of God. Now know this center of being, for thou canst not enter the very core of life or universes unborn without that heart of God. The heart of God is the heartbeat of a cosmos, and the bird and the little one Peace in the heart of God brings about self-correction, elimination of self-deception, speaking the truth as a little child, knowing the truth as a sage. Heart, heart. Have heart, beloved, hear its pulsation. Know that the heartbeat of God 
beats in every heart on earth. Think of this, beloved. Think what you must do to guard the heart. As Helena Rorick has written regarding the heart, the protection of the heart, the physical heart, and all levels of the heart is most important for the initiate who is accelerating on the path, who is becoming more sensitive day by day, who is jarred by the raucousness of life itself. Yes, there are low levels in the astral plane where many exist. They go nowhere, they have no heart. They cackle as witches cackle about this one and that one who is moving onward in the etheric octave. You can dwell in the etheric plane, beloved, if you are determined to do so. You can dwell in lesser octaves if necessary. But my advice to you is not to be anywhere you, you can easily make karma. Karma is heavy and you do not need that karma added to your daily burdens. Thus the fire of the heart, the love of the heart, and the violet flame. We go back to this, beloved, for the healing of the heart must come through the Holy Spirit. How many hearts does it take on earth to hold the balance? I know, but I cannot say, beloved. But I would tell you the stronger the heart and the stronger the chakras, the more likely you are to see universal brotherhood. Those who are noteworthy when we speak of these things, such as St. Francis, who was embodied in Kithuni. That, beloved, was a teaching of love that all might share. It has been a promise to many, a healing for many. Love is something that does not stand still, but must be practiced. We can affirm that God is love, then we must turn around and be that love in action by being our brother's keeper. So, beloved, love is an intangible. We miss it when it is not there. We are filled with joy when it is there. Know the perfect love of God. Now let the mighty who believe that they are the high and the mighty be judged for judgment is ongoing on such a planet as Earth at such a timetable. Let then this action of the sacred fire that we have brought to you this day remind you now that the source of the victory is your physical heart and your spiritual heart. Guard this heart and enter into its realization. There is much that we could say regarding the heart. I recommend the book Heart. But what we want you to do is to seek and find the alchemy of the heart, which is the all chemistry of God, to find that to find that something that has escaped you, which when you will find it, will be the missing link in everything else you do. It is, of course, the heart and the heartbeat. This is the key. But there are layers and layers of heart. There is hardness of heart that is caused by eating certain foods that are not good for you such as heavy meats and spices. There are burdens that the heart carries on behalf of those who are in sorrow perpetually. There are those who don't even touch the heart of God 
in a lifetime. Love will heal the world, but perhaps the world must first be saved. Or would you agree that first the heart must be saved? This is a pattern, beloved. And when that love flows to all life, all life greets you and sends back that love. Call then to all of us who have endowed evolutions of earth with love. And we, we will lead you to those who have kept that love, kept that trust, kept that sense that the heart truly is the center of all being, the source of all ideation. And in that heart, you will one day know your immortality. Oh, the heartbeat of God. Oh, the heartbeat of God. Listen and be reverent, for God lives in you in that heart and heartbeat. As you increase and intensify the fire of love, you will have much to give to the children and the youth. Make them your focus for the victory of the planet. For unless they are victorious, there shall not be succeeding generations to carry on the great mystery of love and to take them on the path of the mystics. In these hours approaching the new year, in these hours where you have come together to commune with us. I would simply tell you that adeptship, your adeptship, is based on love, discipline, and wisdom. But above all, charity is the key. The giving of self propels you to transmute karma and to move on in the cycles of being. Follow the lovers of God, and you will never be on the wrong track. Be stingy and niggardly in passing out favors, and you will become an old Scrooge. Perhaps to re-embody, perhaps in your final embodiment already. So, beloved, let us pay attention to true love that contains the chastening, the pummeling, the bringing of the soul into such congruency with Maitreya as to find herself truly in the lap of God. Do not fear pain. Pain is a source of growth, tremendous growth. Let the pain out. Let it out, beloved, and know the growth that you will experience. Pain has no dominion over you, but pain is an essential teacher. Embrace her, move through her, beyond her, and find your manifest reality. We three who come each year As of old, the wise men, to the crush, to the family, to the Lord Christ. We come to the hearts of the light bearers. We come bearing gold, frankincense, and myrrh. We come bearing other essences and a white fire to move them along and bring these babes to the level where it is the apex of achievement, where they have come to that level of adulthood, where all things are possible to them, for they have built a staircase that takes them to more and more complex tasks for humanity. So go to your inner child now and rock this child, comfort, 
be with your child and know that your soul is both child and wise man. Therefore, you have a very wise one in your inner self, in your inner Holy Christ self. And you have the childlike one who needs your care and love. And that must go on daily. For the soul is not permanent. The soul must be made whole. The soul must become the bridegroom of the Holy Christ self. So, beloved, if the soul is incomplete and not whole, then the soul cannot ascend until her fragments return and her understanding of wholeness is complete. Do not leave your soul behind, therefore, any more than you would leave behind a child. Nurture that one, and your entire body and life will also be nurtured. In the joy of inner peace, I invite you to commune with us in the areas of India and those places from which we made our ascension. We seal you in this hour and bless you for a coming year of joy. Put joy in every heart, in every pocket, and you will be scattering seeds that will multiply throughout the earth. Remember, evil is not real, and its appearance has no power. The sign of the heart, the head, and the hand to you. I seal you in the meditation of God. May you discover the mystery of self each day.